guys welcome to another episode of thrifty pia so today i'm going to share with you some of the items i picked out at goodwill outlet by the pound and also at salvation army and i'll also give you guys some clips in between to show you the madness that was at the goodwill outlet by the pound and i found a whole bunch of audio tapes and some books that i'm going to show you guys i have them on my shelf so we'll just take a little quick tour um, you know, just to give you guys a little, so that way you guys can see the kind of books that I picked out, a couple of audio books I picked out. So, my first pile is going to be Salvation Army. Now, when I had walked into Salvation Army, there was three big boxes of brand new videos, brand new audio tapes, sealed. Now, it looks like it came from a previous bookstore, but, um, they had them like $6.00. $5.99, $7.99, but everything in the store was 50% off. So all those audio tapes that I bought for like $7, I had to pay like $3.50 for them. And what the number one thing you guys want to do is grab as many as you can, find a quarter in the store, and scan them first. You never want to buy the audiobooks or the CDs uh, without scanning them because sometimes they're not really worth any money. But the ones I picked up, I was able to get. I, I, but you know, it's going to take time. I'm, just, I'm looking at a profit margin from anywhere from 30 up to $100, which is pretty good. Now, the thing too with Amazon and eBay, you have to put in your mind whatever you buy is sort of an investment. There's really no guarantee that you're going to sell the item. So, Make sure you put that in your mind. Never go out to thrift stores uh, with money that you don't have to spend. Um, this is more like, you know, the $37 I spent. Actually, no, I said $54. The $54 I spent at Salvation Army is sort of like fun cash money that I had for Black Friday. So um, this is like money if I would just take it out to go to movies or, you know, did a date with friends. So it's extra money that is not going to affect my finance. So make sure you guys put that in mind. Because, uh, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I feel really bad for sellers who's been on eBay and on Amazon and really haven't made that you know, potluck gold of reaching $2,000 a month. And, and then, you know, it, it, this oh, strategy that these sellers use, and I hope I can share this with you guys. So, yesterday was a really good day for you to get out there and go to your Salvation Army store. I mean, they had everything 50% off the whole entire store, which was good. So, I really, I picked out a few items that I I know I could sell either Poshmark or eBay. So the first item you're looking at right now, this is a really nice um, top. It's black, beige, and stripe. And it has buttons in the back, and it also has a split way in the bottom. This one is called um, Cable and Garge. You guys can see it. And I paid, it was $4.99, so I paid $2.50. This one, I would definitely put it on Poshmark, and I'm probably going to put it for about, I'll probably put it for like $15, but if somebody likes it, I'll probably just offer them $10 or something like that. I mean, I only paid $2.50 for it, so, you know, that's the kind of way you have to think when you buy these items. You have to think of a way that, um, you know, you want to price it at a good price that people are going to buy. The second item I picked up. This was a nice shirt. I'd never heard of it before. I didn't even look it up. It's called Brick Brittled. So it's purple. It has sort of like a nice design on it. And on uh, the back is sheer. And then the uh, elbow, three-fourth of an elbow. And there's like a little button here. So this is what it looks like. Really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can get a really good, good view here. So this one was $3.99. I paid, so $4. I paid about $2 for it, which is... Not that bad. Now, this was a good find. I was really happy. I just have to wash it if there is some stain on it. Um, J. Crew Pajamas. And this is a really good standard size. So it's um, actually a large. So I'm hoping I could put this definitely on Poshmark. And I'll definitely put this on eBay. So it's like a traditional um, pajamas. So it has the top. Now, I never got into pajamas, so, like, I like to try new things for my stores. I don't want to always stick the same thing I know. So, you know, picking up new things sometimes, it's, it's really good. So, this is the bottom part. And, as you guys could see here, there is some stain. 
the bottom. So I just have to put it in the wash, just wash it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I was looking on eBay and I looked on Google. They were going for about, I think, $30 or $40. i am not sure how much I'm going to sell it. I just have to do a little bit more research to see exactly how much money I can get for it. Because once it's clean and I steam it, um, I'll probably be able to get a little bit more. Now, sales have been very slow for my, um, my scrub, so that doesn't mean I gave up. So I found uh, Hello Kitty, and it's a size small. It might take a longer for me to sell it. Usually these size, they're, they do take a little bit longer to sell just with the small. Um, it was $3.99. Again, I paid $2 for it. So if you're going to pick up, I did do a nice series on scrubs. Um, just the colors, sometimes the theme of the scrubs, you'll be able to make some money. Now this one was for me. <laughs> Uh, this one is a nice sweater. It's like a wear for work. It's green and it's a really good brand It's by Chico's so Chico's is pretty pricey. So I picked this up. It was seven dollars But I bought it half off. So I paid three dollars and fifty cents for it now one thing I've noticed at some of the Salvation Army stores that I've been going to the last couple of months They're removing the tags now. I don't know if they're getting this to the stores that are, you know, giving it back to them. So be careful, because um, I, when I felt this, I knew it felt expensive. You could just tell sometimes by the material of the clothes, it just feels a little bit um, different. So I knew it felt different. So did I look at, I looked at the tag and it was no tag, but then I looked at the bottom and they had a tag and it was Chico. So I was kind of right. So this one's going to be for me. I don't know how much it would retail for, probably like $40. Um, but if I was to sell it, I would definitely put it for like 25 bucks. The thing is, guys, you want to buy, if you're buying things cheap, yes, you want to make a profit. But at the same time, I want a quick turnaround. I don't want to price them so high that I get no offers on them. Sometimes it's good to price at a certain margin that you think you might sell your item. But then when someone gets your best offer, you just go ahead and lower the price. The next item I picked up. It's JH Collectibles. Now this is an ugly sweater. This is a really good time for you guys to go out and buy some ugly sweaters. You can make some really good money right now on eBay uh, where Christmas parties coming up. We have one. And when I first picked this up, it was going to be for me. I was going to go ahead and decorate it. But then when I saw my husband's sweater, I'm like, no way. He cannot win. So I had to go online. I feel like a hypocrite. I went online. I bought one. That's really cute. And I will show you guys that picture when we have, um, when I do wear it on. I'll put it in my, I'll do a video clip for you guys. So this one, um. I paid eight dollars and I honestly think it's not because of the brand I think they know uh, in their head that it's going to be ugly Christmas sweater party so luckily for me this was eight bucks but I bought it on half off so I paid four dollars for it I think I'm going to do a little search to see how much this is going to be you know, the brand how much it retails for and then I'm going to go to ugly sweater Christmas category and then I'm trying to gonna make a price so I'm probably gonna list it high as $25 free shipping, but I will take a best offer. I'll take an offer of $17 or $18 if someone's willing to give me that for this sweater. Now, the other item I picked up, I don't know if it's a gem. I don't know if I got lucky or if it's something I'm going to have in my closet forever. I did, however, bought this brand of a different style. So I found a Air Jordan, let's see, Air Jordan 4 Def Hold. So Air Jordan 4 Deathhold. This is what I found. This is a nice shirt that I found. So I will definitely put this on Poshmark. Um, and I'll also put it on eBay. And let's see. So how I knew it was Authentic Jordan. It had the logo Jordan in the back. And it also had a patchwork of Jordan right here. The signature. And uh, let's see what else do we have. And then we they took away... It took the tag out. It was an old one. But this is a size large. It was $4.99. So typically it was $5. I bought it for $2.50. I have to do a little research to see how much it is. It says a death defined high fly 360 slam dunk. So this is cute. Somebody who is, you know, into Jordan, either a girl, either a woman or a man could definitely wear this. Um, and you know, we'll see how much it goes for it. I don't know how much I'm going to listen for right off the bat with the condition that it is. You guys really can't see it in the camera. Um, 
it's a little faded so I'm probably gonna offer like $20 in free shipping um, if someone gives me a low ball of like 15 or I'll probably take it anyways the other item I found was J Crew. J Crew is a really good brand to sell on eBay and on Poshmark. They sell very quick. This one looks like it's practically new. It's a size medium. It's a nice tribal print shirt. It has some rhinestones. Again, this is something that someone could wear to a nice Christmas party or um, you know a Christmas gathering at their job. You know, it's not too fancy and it's not too casual. It's just in between. It was $3.99. So they price this, you know, typically if this was a normal day, I would definitely buy this. They price it pretty low. My guess is whoever was putting the price didn't really check the brand. Um, so for now, I paid $2 for it. Something like this, I'll probably definitely list it for $17.95 and offer free shipping. On Poshmark, I'll do the same, $18. And then if they like it, I'll probably, you know, I'll bring the price low. Other thing I pick up, guys, you know, make sure you pick these up. These are very good right now. Um, sweaters. So Liz Claiborne. Really nice sweater, and it's 2X. Has some nice little snowflakes on the side. I did a video a couple months back, talked about how you could use Pinterest to drive traffic into your eBay store. So make sure you guys check that out. So it's all about the details. So what I do is when I list, you know, list Kaboard is not really like a popular brand that you're going to make a lot of money on, but it's, it all depends on the type of ad words that you use and the adjectives that you use to describe your sweater. That's how you get sales and that's how you get buyers to look at your brand. So if I was to put this on Pinterest, I would say snowflake career sweater. Um, I would say, you know, I would even go as far as ugly Christmas sweater for plus size just to get people to look at it. But it's not an ugly sweater. It's just, you know, just you're using different type of words to just to drive traffic to your short, your, your store. Um, I would say Christmas Wonderland sweater. Like they're just different little things I would put into there just to grab traffic. So this was $5.99, so it was $6. So I paid $3 for it. A nice sweater like this, which is a plus size, it's a little heavy. I will definitely put it for $20. And then I would offer free shipping. For now, for the rest of the year, I think I'm gonna offer a lot of free shipping on my items. Um that way I get a quick turnaround. You know, it's Christmas season. Everybody's buying stuff online. Most of the stores are offering free shipping. And don't ever feel like your store is too small or too big. Just try to do things that way you could get people to buy stuff from your store. Um, another thing I picked up is a flannel shirt. This is L.L. Bean. And I don't know if this one is for a man or for a woman, but the way it looks like, I'm guessing it's for a woman. It's really nice. It's a neutral color. So it's beige, cream, and white. And it's a size large. It was $7. LLB is a good brand um, to sell on eBay. It takes time. It really depends on what, what type of product you have. This is a flannel shirt, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be there that long. I don't know how much I'm going to listen for. I'm going to have to do a little research to see if I can find something similar to that and then maybe uh, try to create a price margin where someone might be willing to buy it. Next one I picked up, these were some flannel pants. I should know, these are leg warmers. Puma. This is definitely going to go on Poshmark. Poshmark does really good with brands. Um, so I don't know if they're for men or if they're for women. So I just have to do a little bit more research on this one too. And they're Puma Warm Gel. They're probably for runners. Um, $7.99 was normally $8. I paid four bucks for it, which I'm hoping I can get some good money on it. I don't know how much it's gonna cost me, but it has some side zippers on it. Um, it's really, really nice, so. Okay, so that was it for the Salvation Army portion. Now we're going to go into the Goodwill Outlet, and I have a story to tell you guys. I will show you the books at the end of the video. When I, I haven't been to Goodwill Outlet in months. So when I, was, when I was out my shopping, getting by some of the books that I bought at the Goodwill Outlet, and I have a few here that I'll show you, I completely forgot how they bring things up. So typically what they do is any type of clothing item, they usually will weigh it first and all your books, games, or any type of glass items would be um, left in the cart. So the cashier had already went ahead and rang up my clothes and she told me to put my cart. I went back and put the clothes in the cart and I completely messed her up. She was very new. 
and I felt bad. So I had, it looked like I had a lot of books and the books were a dollar a pound. Um, no, everything was a dollar a pound. Typically it's a dollar 39 and the books are usually like 99 cents. Yesterday I had them for 10 cents. So she frantic. She looked at my cart really quick and I don't know, she put like quantity of 37. It was $37. I typically would have said no, right? But I had a lot of books and the books were heavy and they're by pound. So she could have done it right. It could have just been me like overthinking about it. But guys, I have to show you. all the items I'm going to show you, she gave them for me for free. Because I think she feels that she had me overpay. So I mean, could I, was I going to complain at that point? I wasn't going to complain. Because because some of the items I have here, I'm going to make more than $37. So whether I make money with the books or not, I know I already made my money with this pile. So sometimes it's like, like being nice to people a lot of times is good in your favor. Now, if I was very dramatic about the whole thing and asked to speak to a manager, she would have had to rerun everything up and I would have had to pay for the clothes. So I didn't really cause the to make anything. I just kind of went with it. So... I don't know if I'm going to make any money on this one, but this is a perfume uh, Givenchy bag. There are people out there who do like these bags for some reason. Uh, you know, maybe they have like a little collection of bags that they want. So this one I picked it. It was, I think this cost me like, it was free. So I don't know how much this is going to cost, but I was thinking I could definitely put it on eBay and I could uh, put like, um, Christmas present ideas. Maybe someone is a huge fan of Givenchy perfume and maybe they could buy other, you know, a lot of products on Givenchy and put them in here and give that as a Christmas present. So I'm thinking of listing this for $15 free shipping. It's a very lightweight. Other item I picked up. Now this is a jean, jean dress, sleeveless gap. Um, this could really run me anywhere from like you could definitely make $20 off of it. But I'm probably going to list it for $17. Just because it's fall and we're going to winter. Doesn't mean people won't buy these. People travel year-round. They go to cruise ships. They go to tropical um, places. So this is definitely something that I could definitely put on Poshmark and on eBay. Now this is a new item. I've never heard of this one before. Um, it's called, And there's so many brands out there, guys, with clothes. You don't even know. It, it's just... So I love going to the Google outlet. Lord Mo Motion. This looks like it's for a man. Um, and it says, always high. I don't know how much it's going for, but I got it for free. So I could definitely start a bid on it, or I could do some research and see what's going for. Now, this is the item I know I'm going to make more than $30 on. This is a nice Charter Club sweater. Look at the details on this, guys. And I got this for free. Look at the B, the B details. So it's a white um, shirt, and then it has a nice little white and black like sweater. And then look at the the cufflinks, and then the bottom. This is nice. You could definitely wear this to to work with a gray pants, black, red. Um, you know, you could even go as far as wearing it with cream. This is a this is a really really nice top for a nice Christmas party. So I'm definitely going to list this on Poshmark and I'm going to list it on eBay. I'm going to put it $30. So I'm going to list it high and I'll put best offer. This other item is for me. I don't know what kind of brand it is, but <laughs> they took the tag off. It looks like it's one of those long shawl sweaters. I always wanted those long swash sweaters. I could definitely wear this with a nice turtleneck. It gets so cold in my where I work in my office. Sometimes I just want like a blanket to go to work, but I, I can't do that. So I picked that for myself. I have to wash it. Um, other thing I picked up, this one is Green Envelope. I think I've seen this brand before on, um, on Poshmark. It's just a nice little shawl sweater. Again, it's the neutral colors. Neutral colors that do really good on eBay and on Poshmark, especially for this type of season, with, you know, with Christmas coming up. Um, this is a really nice color that you could wear with a, any type of top underneath. So I picked that one up. And I picked green. Love the color green, as you guys can tell. Uh, this one is St. John's Bay. Not to get it mixed up with St. John's. 
Um, it's a nice sheer green shirt. Again, this is a nice color that someone could wear to a company outed or to a Christmas party. So that was the Goodwill outlet, guys. Now I'm going to show you some of the books I picked up. I mentioned this before in my other video that my husband and I are adopting a kid. Um, and I will be doing a video of, soon to let you guys know the story behind our decision. So I picked up some books so far because I'm going to be starting a nursery in the summertime. And I'm also, uh, I want to work on a bookshelf now. So I've been buying some books. And these are some of the books I grew up with. And I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this. He went with the same books too. This one's called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut, Dr. Seuss. I'm just going to go over them quick, guys, because I know I already went maximum time of this video. Dora. This one is Sadie and the Snowman. Don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. Who didn't know this book? Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Jewel Sweet Dreams. It actually comes with a CD. I have to listen to it. I've read most of these books. I just want to know, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, this one is Joyce Meyer, Every Wish Way to Pray. And all these books were like 10 cents. They didn't cost me anything. This one is Every Year on Your Birthday. It even comes with a card. And the other thing I so that was my Goodwill Outlet book for the library. I, a couple years back, I bought a random yearbook at the Goodwill Outlet. I did another one yesterday. This one is Titans, and it's from 2006 N Neshoba High School. So if you're from Neshoba High School and watching this, I'm going to list this on eBay. And if you want to buy a yearbook, you can buy it back. So usually I heard yearbooks that do very good on eBay are yearbooks that had celebrities on them. Or half the time, they're just year people buy them because they could have went to the school, they could have knew someone in the class. So I am definitely going to do a little bit of research to see if there's any more on eBay and how much I could get for it. Um, I know I went over time, so I just want to make sure I give you guys everything. Another thing I picked up, this was at Salvation Army, I forgot to mention this. Guess who? We are having a game night next month. So December 15th. And I was thinking, guys, maybe I should do Vlogmas for the whole month of December. That way, you guys, because I did do a video last week about getting to know me. But then that way, you guys will get to see exactly what I do every day. So I was thinking about it, but I really think I want to do it. Um, and you could see the sales I make in a week, uh, what works, what doesn't work. So you definitely will be along for the Ugly Sweater Game Night Part that we're gonna have so I don't even know how to I remember how to play this in school I have to look up the instructions I picked up the Nutcracker this was $1.99 this was also a Salvation Army store I completely forgot the other side um, so I paid half of $1.99 so I probably paid like like 99 cents for it and then every year we always get an ornament I would do it for the last eight years that we've been married so I picked this one up at the Salvation Army it's just a little bit Rusty, I just have to clean her. Um, it's Miss Piggy, okay? She's an ice skater. She has a little crown. So I'm just going to clean her up and put her on my Christmas tree. So that will be my ornament for 2018. Now, just before I let you guys go, I want to say thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, and once I reach 200 subscribers, I will be given a $25 gift card. Who would not want free money around this time of year for Christmas shopping? And all you have to do is be a subscriber and make sure you have an email that I can reach you on um, and make sure if you don't want me to send you a gift card, you you know, you prefer PayPal, make sure you have a PayPal account that is in contact with you that works correctly. So I am going to show you guys some of the books really quick. Um, but just before I show it to you, I want to give you guys five tips on what books to pick up for. Books on mathematics, science, books on how to do things, books on philosophy, books on um, nursing. Those are type of books you, no matter how old the content is or how old, how outdated book, those books are not going to change. The information is still relevant. So those are type of subjects that you want to look out for when you're shopping at the Goodwill Outlet. So let me take you guys on a quick out yesterday at the Goodwill Outlet and at Salvation Army. So I picked out, so you guys can see, they're all right here. So I'm not going to go over each of them. But 
these books, these audiobooks are going to run me anywhere from like, tw um, like anywhere from like 60 up to $100. So, those are the type of brands that I picked out. And then I had some more. So, Advanced Algebra, Abnormal Physiology, American Pathway to the Present Time, Books and Yoga. So, those are the kind of books I picked out. Like I said, guys, as you could see, I didn't really have that much books. But because I had, I, there are other things that I bought. I bought some glassable idols, which I am going to do a Christmas home tour. And I'll show that to you guys. But because there was so much stuff that was packed in my cart. Because there was so much stuff packed in my cart, the cashier overreacted and she charged me more. But at the same time, I'm not going to complain because I have a whole bunch of clothes here that were free. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let me know what you think about my channel. Bye-bye.